Hi, I'm Malaboro. I'm going to quickly take you through some of the uh, things you need to know about sprite animation in C Sharp using the XNA framework or frame library or whatnot. Okay, so I'm creating a new project. Okay, apparently I've already created sprite animation, so let's make sprite animation too. Okay, so let's first make a class. Okay, so we've got our new class, which I'm going to call. There we go, we create our new class with Sprite Animation. Uh, dump some of the namespaces and all that. Okay. So we need... We obviously going to need to declare the texture. So the texture 2D, which I'm going to call Sprite Wheel. We're going to create a private float timer. And another private float for the interval which is 200f another well, an integer for the current uh, frame one for the sprite's width which uh, for my sprite is 100 and one last one for obviously the sprite's height which in my example is also 100 I've got a rectangle have you got a rectangle? Uh, okay, so this is our source rectangle, which refers to the location inside the image uh, that we want to draw, and our vector two, which is the origin. Okay, so let's create my public sprite animation, which is going to return the texture two D of uh, my sprite wheel so I can actually upload the graphic. So sprite wheel is equal or is now sprite wheel. And all I'm doing here is I'm changing one character to a capital. Okay, so public void update because we need our update method. Oops, easy. Game time. That's a P, not a what's he not? <laughs> okay. So we've now got timer plus equals votes game time dot elapsed. Elapsed game time dot total milliseconds because we're doing this in milliseconds. And now we've got like our kind of timer. And we do this by I'll explain in a second. Uh, if timer is greater than the interval, uh, then current frames increases, and the timer is reset to zero, so it c creates a constant loop. Uh, if our current frame is on the oops, is on the final frame, that we want to reset current frame to zero. Uh, current frame equals zero. Okay. Uh, my example only has three frames, uh, so nothing spectacular. Private void. We want our draw method now. And uh, to do this, we want it to be drawing the sprite batch. So we're going to create a new sprite batch like that. Let's do our draw method. Uh, okay. And now we're going to have sprites batch. Batch.draw, and we're going to be drawing our texture, which is sprites wheel, in a new vector, which I'm going to be placing 100 by 100, and we're going to be referring it to source rectangle. Uh, the color is white, which is kind of the default, so it doesn't give it any special tinted color. Uh, we're not going to need any. F um, uh, rotation, so we're going to be putting at 0 0.0f. Uh, the origin we've already uh, declared. Actually, we haven't done that, I forgot to do that. Um, sprite effects, sprite effects. We don't want any sprite effects, uh, and we don't want any layer depth, so we put that at 0. 
There we go. Okay, uh, I totally forgot to do this. So rectangle, or spot uh, source rectangle is a new rectangle. Uh, okay, current frame, uh, sprite width. Just imagine this in your head because it will make a lot more sense. Um, I'll say why we're declaring that as zero in a second. Sprite width and uh, sprite height. You want you know what? A rectangle, so I don't really need to explain that too much. But origin equals new vector two uh, source rectangle dot width divided by two source rectangle dot height. Should go. Okay, well, divided by two. Okay, now that we've done that, that should draw right. However, we gotta sort out our game dot one dot cs. Okay, so we've made our new class, so we're now gonna do this, which is make a declare it in this sprite animation is now equal to sprite anim. Okay. Uh, in our load content method, we want, uh, in this case, sprite anim. Sprite anim equals to uh, new sprite animation. And then we're going to want to get content.load. And we're loading a texture 2D. <coughs> Sprite graphic. I haven't even loaded like the graphic yet. Uh, we won't be needing the unload content method, so I'm just going to delete that and some of this green text. Oh, green text XD. Okay. So in the update method, we now need Sprite AM updates, and we're updating game time. And in the draw method, we're also doing Sprite AM dot draw, and likewise, we're drawing game. Uh, Drawing sprite batch. Okay, now we need to do the sprite batch dot begin method, and obviously what begins must have an end. So sprite batch dot end method. Okay, uh, I haven't uploaded the graphic yet. So if we go into content new file, uh, and then we find our image, and in this case I am doing sprite graphic. Okay, so let's see. Have I forgotten anything? Apparently, I have forgotten something. Oh, da, 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 da. <sighs> what have I done? Okay, I found out what was wrong. Uh, I hadn't added the, the float scale here. Uh, I didn't know why, it, but it wasn't appearing down here for some strange reason, but oh well. Um, so yes, if we run this, yeah, we get the sprite animation. So that's like a little short tutorial. Anyway, I really hope this has helped. Uh, don't bother subscribing or anything, but it's there whenever you want to watch it again. Uh, I might even go to the length of putting the source code up if you really want, I guess. But yeah, well, do whatever. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.